The Canola School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by BSF Canada and Invigor Hybrid Canola. Welcome to Real Agriculture's Canola School Series. I'm Kara Oosterhouse. I have here with me Carl Van Herk, who is with Farming Smarter. Now we are here to talk about some of the strip tilling on canola trials you have done. So, so walk me through this here. What, what do you have here? So over the last three years of doing this study, we've been comparing full tillage to no tillage to strip tillage in canola. And we've been comparing many different results. We overall, we have yield, but then there's also things like canopy closure and we also have soil moisture and soil temperature we're comparing. Okay, so, so talk me through some of the results. What have you seen? So overall, strip tillage is really the happy medium. It's always a, t it's always a conversation, right? It's like to till or not to till. <laughs> to protect your soil, to let your soil blow, to create a good seed bed for your soil, or have trouble with the emergence. Strip tillage is really the happy medium. It's right in between. It provides a very good seed bed for your small seeds especially, so you have very good seed to soil contact. And it also protects your seedlings and the rest of your soil as you have still standing stubble beside your seed rows. So wh what have you found, especially in more high yielding situations such as irrigation? Uh, we have a lot of irrigation in this area. What, what have you found with strip tilling there? In the high yielding environments, it's, so for example, in irrigation especially, it's a, still a benefit to strip till and it also depends on your seeding method. Using precision planters have shown very well, very good results in these environments. Whereas a low yielding environment, the planter, even though it still shows results, it's not as much worth the investment possibly, just because it's less of a, you'll have, there's less net income. But then in the high yielding environments using a strip tiller, along with the precision planter, we've definitely seen benefits. So are you seeing adoption of strip tilling? We're in Southern Alberta right now. I mean, are you seeing adoption of this or? I or only know of a handful, a small handful of farmers who actually have been adopting strip tillage. It is very new. There's also, there's also not a lot of maintenance or shops available who actually work on strip tillage machines. Same with sales. So if hopefully over the years, if we can increase the, the amount of people who are working with them, we'll have more people knowledgeable with them as well and then it hopefully will be picked up a bit more. I've, I think only over the last four or five years there have been actually farmers who have been using strip tillage on their operations. Now any recommendations if somebody is watching this video or they've maybe seen some of your research and they're like, okay, I want to get, I want to get into some strip tilling. W what's your recommendation for starters? <laughs> recommendations for starters, talk to people who have done it. <laughs> talk to me, to, I, know, I know the farmers who have been adopting it, we'll all get to, we can talk about the benefits, see if it is feasible for your operation, see the crops you're planning on using it on, and go from there. So with your trials, why canola? Why did you want to look at strip tilling and canola? What's Basically, one of the main reasons is because canola is such, a, is one of the most value, valuable crops we have here. So using more than a row crop adoption to canola is, uh, is very valuable. And also because Having proper soil to seed contact with canola is very important as it's such a small seed. Having that good seed bed definitely increases your germination rates. And, and what has this done for soil erosion as well? I mean, we, as, as you can see, we're, we're standing in a windy field right now. It's, <laughs> soil can blow. How, how's, how's strip tilling help there? Strip tillage helps the seed rows. It protects the, it protects the areas that are tilled from erosion as there is still standing stubble, especially in high trash environments and still where there is high stubble, the seed rows do not get blown. There's no soil erosion in the seed rows themselves. Whereas a fully cultivated plot, there's definitely erosion as the wind is still able to rip through those plots and blow away your soil. And uh, any misconceptions that you you would like to kind of tackle when it comes to canola and strip tilling? Like what, what do some people, you know, maybe think that's not necessarily true? Maybe that it's the extra, some people might, be a little a little scared or a little hesitant to do an extra pass through their field, spend the extra diesel fuel just for the extra work that might save their soils and not necessarily translate into yield. No, this might not necessarily translate into yield right away in your first year or depending on the year we have, but it's all also all about protecting your soils in the long run. 
if you could protect your soil biodiversity over the long run and over the years, it definitely will still benefit, even though you are spending a little bit more money up front.